Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is the place to go for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CAD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect of this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COD data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here on this pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment just broke below a quite significant level of previous monthly support, which was acting as support here, again here, and again here, which not that the market has broken it to the downside, is acting as resistance. So here on the monthly, we have broken below previous support and resistance, and we could expect more bearish continuation away from the zone. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now here on the weekly, we can identify this area even more precisely. In fact, we can see how every single time that the market tested its zone, it got rejected to the upside and all this previous support is currently acting as resistance here. The market has in fact already tested its zone and started rejecting it to the downside. In a situation like this, we could expect more potential bearish price action away from this resistance area. We can also notice that in general, if we follow the patterns that the market has been creating here, it is quite clear how we have an impulse and a correction. Now, after an impulse and a correction, if we want to measure the correction leg, what we have to do is take our Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we just had a perfect 0.32 Fibonacci retracement. The market tested its zone and started rejecting it to the downside. In a situation like this, we could expect more potential bearish continuation away from the area. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, what we can notice is that the market at the moment, if we follow the movements, created first this overextended M pattern, and now it has completed it to the upside. Now, I also did speak about USD CAD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it when the market was here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this move higher, and that is exactly what the market gave us. Then from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And then from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we could expect first the move higher and then the rejection lower. And again, that is what the market gave us. And by the way, I will link in the description all these previous analysis so you can go and check them out for more free education. However, what we must notice is that this very last move failed to break below this previous low. The market reached the previous low, found support at it, and started rejecting the level to the upside. Now, this creates new structure and new patterns because if from here the market continues higher, essentially we will have the creation of this W formation. And in general, after the creation of a W, what we could expect is for the market to create a potential move lower to complete this W at the neckline, which is previous resistance turn support. So here on the daily, if the market will create this W formation, we could expect a potential reversal to the downside to complete the W formation at the neckline. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data precisely for the CAD, what we can see is that with the last reports, the institutions have been increasing their net positions on the CAD. We went from a negative net positioning of minus 48k net positions with way more shorts than longs. In fact, we had 68k shorts compared to only 20k longs, all the way up to now having a positive net positioning with more longs than shorts. So the completely opposite situation. This shows how institutions have been moving to the bullish side of the CAD, meaning to the bearish side of USD CAD, because a stronger CAD makes USD CAD 
weaker. So essentially, institutions have been shorting USD CAD. This means that if the market here will actually create that W formation that we were speaking about, that the market could create if it continues higher, we have very good probabilities of seeing more institutional shorting, further increasing the probabilities of a potential completion of this W formation. So if the market here will create this W formation, testing once again this resistance zone, how we could be approaching a potential move lower. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. What we know is that the monthly, weekly, and daily time frames combined with the CO2 data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing, potentially also with students, is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we would have to an intraday bearish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential move lower for the completion of this W formation at the neckline. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website here. You have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies, you also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the Telegram signals, the CO2 data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll over here, past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment we have a massive special promotion in which you have a huge discount on the upfront price of the mentorship program from 497 all the way down to only 97 one-time payment. And as an option, since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, after you join the mentorship program, if you open an account with them, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. And if you scroll lower, you will see that at the moment there is still time to join before the offer expires and everything goes back to normal. And directly from here, there is the button to join in order to gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. The link is also in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education and updates for all of you. And I will see you in my next breakdown.